Welcome back to Stormworks Basics Tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a really fast pump jack here for your oil platform. All right, so we're here at the drilling platform. And when you spawn a new vehicle here, you'll notice you get this block. That block is right in the center, right where this uh, wellhead is going to be. And so that's where you're going to have to align all this to make sure that it works. Now, the way I like to do it is I have a drilling rig and I have a pumping rig. I drill my hole. I get the pipe all the way down in the hole. And then I make a pumping rig. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. I prefer that because the drilling rig specializes in drilling. That's what it does well. The pumping rig specializes at pumping. That's what it does well. And so I, what I do is I drill my hole first. And then I put on this pumping rig. And that allows you to have more space for storage. You don't have to worry about making it, you know, your one building do everything. You can uh, do two different buildings. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut a little hole in the center. That will line up with the wellhead. So we're going to go ahead and we'll delete the rest. Now we know where our wellhead is going to be right there in the middle. All right, next thing we need is a swivel. All right, here is the swivel. All right, so I'm just going to color it gray for now. And I'm going to put it upside down. I like using the selection grid, and then we can align it a little bit more there. So what you want to do is if you're going to use two different rigs, which is what I would recommend, having a drilling rig and then having a pumping rig, which, you know, that's how they do it in real life. They take down the drilling rig, and then they put on a pump jack later. You need to know how many blocks your pipe is going to be sticking out. So what I did was after I pushed the pipe all the way in, I measure how many blocks it's going to be, and that's how high you want to set the swivel. That way you don't have to worry about animating the swivel and having it go up and down. So you need that swivel there, so we're just going to go ahead and paste it there. And the next thing we need is the pump jack. And so we're going to go ahead and put this on, and we want to build our rotational system to turn to pump it opposite to our oil pipe here. So the fluid out should go the opposite side. That's going to give you the least amount of problems. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take a wedge and put it on the top there. And then I want to measure how tall is this pipe. So we're going to go ahead and measure. And that is 10 blocks. It is 11 with the wedge on top. So we need 11. So we need a stroke of 11 blocks in order to push this all the way down. All right, so that is in there. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to take a velocity pivot, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick it right here on that step off there. And that's going to give us a little bit of extra space so that we don't accidentally collide with it. And as you can see, that's hooked to the piston. And then this is going to be our nub that's going to hook to our rotary system. We want to drag the power on the velocity pivot all the way to zero. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to drag the linkage to be the length of the pipe. So that when this is at the top, this is gonna be is gonna be right at the same height as it is currently. All right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll grab this uh, velocity pivot. I'll copy it and we'll just rotate it and we'll push it down here. So again, we need another bearing. So this is gonna be our next bearing. So that will go like that. Paste that. We want to merge this to the linkage. That's our drag link right there. And so let's look at our colors. We have the blue of the piston is attached to the pivot there, our linkage. And then we have one more color pink here, which is then going to attach to the rotary mechanism that will actually turn this. So what we want to do is we want to measure from here. And we want to go down. Let's see exactly how far we need to go down so that when this is all the way down, it is going to be at the same length. So we need to measure from here to there is 11. So let's go. Uh, this should be, let me see how many blocks we need to go down. Should be, it's either 10 or 11, I forget. So let's measure, let's count down. Let's go down. It's either 10 or 11, I don't remember. So let's uh, figure it out as we go. So that's going to be the bottom. So as this rotates, when that gets to the bottom, this should then drag this link down and be there. So what we need to do is measure that. That is 11. We need to go halfway, which is 6. All right, and so that's right here. So that is going to be our center point. Now we want another velocity pivot. We'll just copy this and we'll drag it down. This one is going to be powered. This is actually what's powering the system. So we're going to go here and we're going to merge. And we're going to merge the pink. I'll just get rid of that link. All right. And so now we have the actual circular area that's going to rotate and get that going. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple blocks and we're going to pin this to the actual platform. We have this green here. This also needs to be adhered to the bottom. 
So we're going to go ahead and we'll merge that to the bottom. So now we have this rotary part, which will pull down on this blue linkage and then pull the piston down. This one should be set to max power zero. This one should be set to max power zero. This one should be max 100%, giving it some strength. Then I'm going to take a throttle. And we're going to go ahead and control this with the throttle. And so we don't need symmetry. We just need the one. So let's go ahead and we'll stick that on there. And I'm just going to go a low percentage so that I can start this off slowly in case I measured incorrectly, which is likely that uh, we don't have problems. This plugs into this one, and let's spawn it. These bases will have infinite electricity as long as you have a battery when they're in game. So you have a battery, and then you can plug in everything. And so you don't have to worry about paying for this electricity. So we'll just click it up a little bit here, and we'll get it rotating. And you'll notice if it has any sort of issue with hitting, and that's when you'll figure it out. So as you can see, you can see the mechanics of this working. As it's coming down, it's pulling the pump linkage down. If you had those other pivots, you would probably notice that they would start to bend more. These are more stable. These, uh, you know, are less likely to break. And so as you see, we'll, we'll notice in a minute if this tries to pull it down too much, you'll notice that it starts to buckle and bind up. So we'll notice that. And I think I measured correctly. That is now at the bottom. As you notice, it's all the way down the bottom, and it's going to rotate around. And now it's going to push the pivot back up. And there goes the pump going back up. So the linkage is pushing it back up, as you can see. And let's go ahead and we can speed it up now. So we know the measurements are done correctly, like I've done this before. And as you notice, we get nice, smooth rotational energy now turning into vertical motion. So rotational energy being converted through a linkage to vertical motion. And now you could try the small pivots. I have tried the small pivots, and you will find that they will often break. So these, I find, are much more stable. They don't look as good having these large pivots, but as you can see, we're pumping away. Now this is about as fast as you're going to be able to get this. You could, th no, you're not really, you can't really uh, use anything else. You'd have to use these uh, circular electrics. But as you can see, that's going to be about your fastest pump speed you can get. Now, I can pump huge quantities of oil really fast into that pumping station. All right, so let's talk about some of the physics here of what you want to be doing. So let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll finish this up. Now, you could theoretically go like this, and you could delete this arm on there. I recommend making it a circle like I had, and the reason is this. This has mass. As you pull it down, you're throwing mass this way, which is going to cause this whole body to want to pull to this side. And so what you're going to do is you're going to start to uh, introduce oscillation into your pivot. As this heavy mass goes this way, it's going to pull it over to this direction. Then as it sends it this way, it's going to pull it over this direction. There's a reason why flywheels and things like that tend to be balanced and circular is if you have a weight that weighs the same on this side, it's going to cause the force to go this way, but it's also going to put a canceling force out this way. So what I like to do is I like to start to put a little bit of weight on this. And so we'll grab some weight blocks. And so this is going to give you greater stability is having this weighted. And I actually want to do symmetry. Let's put symmetry on. So what we'll do here is we'll take some one by twos. We'll grab some weight blocks. There we go. And then we'll go a one by one. Grab a couple more weight blocks. And you can paint it that gray color if you don't want to look at the weight blocks. I tend to paint it that gray color. All right. And so what I did was I kind of did a hammerhead design. I didn't completely uh, make it you know, make it circular, but it's up to you how you want to do it. So we can do a hammerhead design. So if you look there, uh, this is an equidistant from, it should be equal distance from the central pivot here to the middle there, which is, as you can see, that is six to the middle. So this should go down five on this side. So those should be even. And then what we want to do is, let's do the same here. 
And we'll fill this in with weight blocks here. How many did I go down? I went down one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, four there. And then we'll cut a block in there. And so this is going to give it more stability because it has that mass to kind of straighten it out. And so as you can see there, we have uh, a circle. If you want, you can finish in the weight blocks like that. Now, by having this uh, circular egg shape, whatever you want to call it here, a little bit egg shaped here, we could even, if you want to do that, you can. I'd, I'd rather not. But this is going to cause it so that as this mass goes this direction, this mass is going this direction, canceling out. And that's going to keep this from trying to pull the pivot over here and then throw the pivot over here. So it's going to keep it st more stable by having that circular uh, flywheel. It gives you that stability. You equalize your forces. So let's turn it on. So I recommend putting that on there. It will keep this from losing balance or having balance issues. And so we'll go ahead and I just have this the sensitivity slow on this. So this will be in the workshop. You guys can download this and you can look at it. If you are yeah, have any confusion, you can go ahead and just, um, you know, copy it or do whatever you need to. If you do use this exact one on your build and post to the workshop, I just ask that you credit it. If you make it yourself, of course, you don't have to. But if you do take something that I've made, I just do ask that you say that you use uh, something of Captain's on there. But as you can see, this is about as fast as you can get with pumping. This gives you a really nice high speed. And uh, you should be able to pump oil very fast doing this. So I hope you guys found that uh, informative, and I'll see you in the next one.